Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am Flavius Activus Maximus with my inimitable partner, Issue X. Go get your tissues. And we are back on that itch. So we were talking about whether or not there are good video game movies, movies, video games that have been translated to movies. And are there any good ones based upon the potential of there being a Rainbow Six movie? As, as as was revealed in the mid credits of the last Tom Clancy Amazon Prime Michael B Jordan film. Um, and well, so Resident have been Evil talking ish about uh, Michael B Jordan. I'm not concerned, but Ish is concerned, as uh, I guess you know the last movie didn't go so well. I thought it was written horribly and that it was irredeemable, but uh, Ish thinks it still still could be a still could be an issue for uh m b j well i think it could be an issue because we were saying we were discussing how rainbow six is a big property mm -hmm. like it's a it's a it's a mega property and then your question was well have there really been you know you said that the movie better be written better than at the very least better than this you know this 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 lead-in movie yeah and you know, we it, it got us to discussing: Are there any good movies that were translated to video games? Which is an interesting question because we have to first we have to break that down into two groups, right? Like, let's look at just movies that were adopted from video adapted from video games versus movies that were adapted from mega hit video games. You know what I mean? Because you got, you know, there are Prince of Persia, but I mean, we're not talking like a mega hit. I mean, I guess it was a successful game, but it's not a game that people are, you know, it doesn't, it, it's not going to show up on the top 10 or top 20 or even top 100 list of all time greatest video games. I mean, you know I, I, mean? Sure, like, I sure remember that, uh, wasn't it like, because the motion in that game was different than game. Yeah, after absolutely. Time. Absolutely. It is it a memorable game. It was like the game. most realistic game of its time. It, yeah, it was a memorable game. But I mean, you know, there are franchises that people are hoping become video game. I mean, you had Final Fantasies. Mm -hmm. Those movies were hard to, it was hard for those movies to fail because they didn't, like these weren't live action films, mm -hmm. right? Like these were meant for Japanese audiences. They were animated, mm -hmm. you know, so it, it was, you know, those movies are successful in their markets. Um, um, there was a movie I was just a game I was just thinking of that was turned into a movie or I know one of the big franchises that people are looking forward to is like God of War. They're going to turn that into you a know? movie, huh? I mean, they're talking about it. Um, mm. Assassin's Creed, right? We're talking mega franchises. You know what so I mean? So getting, getting to the other question I had just kind of brought up, are we talking success in terms of sheer numbers or have any of these movies been what we would call good films good movies um movies there are good some writing, good films good there are some good films and well good acting is a totally different topic um good well, there have been some good films in the resident evil franchise there's been bad films there's like 10 films well when we talk good writing good acting i mean you know uh a movie that someone who doesn't give a shit about video games would just sit down and enjoy it and like. Well, so my wife, who doesn't care about video games, enjoyed and still enjoys the Resident Evil franchise. We're not going to say I didn't. I haven't even watched every film in the franchise, so I would call the Resident Evil franchise good because it was good enough to merit ten films. So at the very least, enough people enjoyed it. And it made enough money that it was worthwhile to continue. Am I gonna say that Mila Jovovich is, you know, is is acting the walls down? No. It's Mila Jovovich. You get what you get from her. But then okay. again, she's been in great films where, like, I mean, come on, we all loved Fifth Element. Mm, I I'm the only person who didn't, but. Okay, most people love Fifth Element, and we're not, yeah. I'm not going to say that that you know anyone in that film, to include Bruce Willis, was you know putting on Academy Award performances, with the exception of obviously, and not even him, right? Uh, the bad guy, who's a brilliant actor, like he that wasn't his greatest performance either, right? You know what I mean? But that's 
you know, widely considered a great film for both of the reasons that the criteria that you asked about, um, that people thought it was good and it made money. Okay. Yeah. But, you know, not a video game film, just a Mila Jehovah film. You right. know what I mean? I'm not, again, she's the star of the Resident Evil franchise. Is she a underrated female action star? Absolutely. Absolutely. She has proven that she could hang with the best of them. When it, I only want to say female. Just the best of them as action stars, for sure. See, I mean, they, even, they, they built 10 movies on her. Even Fast and the Furious, I may not, I, I may be, uh, may not be explaining uh, what I could be looking for. I mean, first of all, the person that asked, like, has there ever been a good, um, you know, video game film might have a little bit of a higher bar. And even even my bar might be higher. I mean, there's there's movies where they keep making more movies and people keep watching them. But I would never use the word film to describe them. Um, yeah, but that's that's certainly a, an opinionated position. You're not wrong. You, you could you could say it's opinionated, but. People like anyone who, anyone who critiques uh, movies or films certainly, I think, wouldn't know like knows what they're getting into when they're watching those movies, right? Like, we're yeah, not, but let's we're talk not, about like, like Meryl Streep. Like Meryl Streep's never going to be like, any, even if she is in a film like that, you know, she's not. You know, she's not going for her, for her Oscar in one of those type of films. You know what I mean? Yeah, but Hollywood, but but those films have their place in the hearts and minds of people who that's, like That's totally that's totally okay. I'm just saying, you know, has there ever been like? I mean, I, I, it is what it is. They're they're video games, so they 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 do what it's 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 very difficult to say to. that the, the the Fast and the Furious franchise isn't a good film franchise. It's not difficult outside of personal opinion, but outside of just say standard Hollywood opinion, it's very difficult. I mean, it's it's a it's a well over a billion dollar franchise that people keep showing up for. But I mean, they're specifically fun films. Like even your man, yeah. um, the guy who died, has been in more serious films than that, right? Yeah, like, but well, there's a difference between serious and good. What people consider there, good I mean, there, versus there, what people there, consider there, serious. There is, um, there is. Uh, I just don't. I just don't have the words to articulate it. But I think the way you said it before is like movies where no one's like tearing the house down in their acting is what I mean. As like, oh, you mean as far as good acting performances? Because I understand. I think I know where you're going. You know what I mean? Like I think I, I definitely think I know where you're going because I said it about Michael B. Jordan, where Michael B. Jordan has been in films that I consider good, like Creed. And I don't think he's. I don't think anyone in that Creed franchise is just you know screaming give me an award but i consider them to be good i enjoy them so i, I kind of get what you're saying and i also understand there are different bars based upon personal preference right like that's why good is so hard right because you know we all probably fall in that camp where we enjoyed films that if we were looking at technically is it good our answer would probably be no based upon our own preset criteria. Yeah, like right. it, like <laughs> if someone if someone walks up to me and says, "Yo, you recommended this movie, the last uh, like the last dragon. Is this a good film?" I'm gonna yes, be like, no. I'm going to be like, "This is one of my favorite movies of all time. Is it <laughs> is it written or acted well? Hell no. Nope. <laughs> Hell no. And I can I can say that with a straight face and still go watch the movie again. And enjoy it, but I know it's not winning winning any Oscars. Right, right. It's not winning I, I anything for best written, best acted, none of that. Yep. Maybe maybe not, best not costume if they're lucky, and probably and, not. And and best soundtrack perhaps. <laughs> best soundtrack, yeah. <laughs> that, that should definitely be. Is that a category? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we're reaching. You know, we gotta it we gotta find be. some saving grace, right? <laughs> it should be. If it was but when you talk that, about memorable characters and memorable quotes, I, clearly you can mention the Last Dragon. Well, yeah, like I mean, show enough never, and who's the master? Like how many people quoted that? Yeah, again, uh, we've come, we've I think we've kind of finally come to an understanding of like what we're getting at, though, right? Mm -hmm. Even like objectively speaking, 
good film, no. Uh, enjoyable, very much so. So that's that's what I'm well, saying. Then... As, like, as like have you know there have there been any any you know I I guess the answer is just those movies are not meant to be you know on that level. They're video games. They're not meant to. Well, I think some video game movies take themselves seriously. Silent Hill did. Okay. You know, it's a horror and that film. Was, yeah, well, that's a good that's a good point. I, you know, when you said Silent Hill, I totally wasn't even thinking that. I think that might that might be a good. Uh, I don't want to say exception, but that might be a good a good route for video game movies is ones that already started out as 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 horrors. You know, that might be a good a good route to get something really respectable out of. Mm-hmm. I know they're they're looking at doing The Last of Us. I'm not familiar with that. It's another horror game, similar in 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 uh themes to The Walking Dead. Okay. Yeah, that kind of but stuff it's a, makes it's a horror video game. That kind of stuff makes sense. Uh, so what was the one that you said? Oh, Silent Hill, and um, and that was 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 that considered? Did that get any accolades or anything? Well, no. It kind of got lost in the sauce of all of the horror films that were coming out in that era of the 2000s. But it was a good film. As okay. in a good film. As in... And was there any like good a, actor or... Um, not that I can recall offhand. Uh, the acting was good. But, you know, you kind of get what you get when you when you get a horror film. When you're, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? When you're doing just a traditional horror film, which, it, which is what it was... You kind of just get what you get, right? Right. <laughs> so, I mean, there are very few exceptions, in my opinion, in my opinion, when it comes to horror, where you have to be, like, brilliant. You know what I mean? Right, <laughs> like, but there's some kinda... horrible, there's some horrible horror films, though, that are just like... Yeah, this wasn't horrible. The acting was not horrible by any means. Yeah. It was certainly sufficient in order to carry the film. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? It was certainly, it was, it was, it, the acting was, it, it was, it was not noticeable, which is kind of what you want with a horror film, right? You don't want to notice that the actor is bad. Right, right. Or that they, that or they that suck, you know what I mean? Act, or that they're acting at all. Right. You just kind of don't want to notice that. So that's what it, that's what you get with it. You just, you don't notice it. You don't yeah. notice the acting, you know? Again, I'm speaking with the bar being with horror films. You're not expecting someone to win an Academy Award. Are you are you a Vince Vaughn fan? Um, um, not as much as I used to be, but I definitely enjoy, have enjoyed many Vince Vaughn films. I think you might enjoy North Hollywood. He is. Uh, I I don't know if I'm giving him more credit than he's supposed to get. I I feel like he wrote because I know he's directed. I know he's written. I feel like he had something to do with this movie. There's a there's a tenderness to this movie that's a little unexpected and feels like Vince Vaughn's touch. It's a very interesting movie. It's a movie about a kid who wants to be a skateboarder and his father, Vince Vaughn, of course, thinks it's bullshit and wants his son to get his life together and, you know, go to school and all that stuff and, and you know, just, like, pay attention and do things right. So, you know, there's just a bunch of scenes where the son is just being a lazy teenager and the dad is like, you think you did that right? Like, look at it. Like, look. And he's like, what? Like, the, a funny scene to me is, it's right in the beginning of the movie. It's what sold me on the movie, right in the beginning. Because, you know, I have kind of a short, uh, you know, a short um, temper for for bad movies. Or, you know, I don't know. I don't know what the word is. Uh, a short, like a little patience uh, sometimes. But... So the kid gets out of the shower and the father goes in the bathroom and it's all wet, right? I, I've had this situation with roommates and stuff. The 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 floor is like all wet and, and the father is like, what'd you do? And he's like, what? I took a shower. Of course it's going to be wet. And he's like pointing to the shower curtain, being like, do you know what this is? And he's like, yeah, I know what that is. It's a shower. It's a shower curtain. He's like, well, did you use it? And he's like, yeah, I... I pulled it closed. And he's like, no, did you tuck it in? And he's like, tuck it in? What are you talking about? And it's just a funny scene because, like, A, you'd be surprised how many people don't know 
how to use shower curtains, but B, it sets the tone for, you know, the way the father tries to A, help out his kid, but B, exert too much control and not, like, let his, you know, soon-to-be, soon-to-be adult child, like, find, find his own way. But in the meantime, there's skateboard culture, you know, um, it's more diverse than some of those movies are, you know, there's, there's, uh, black kids in there and some different, uh, different kids in there. And there's like, there's like cool, sh there's cool shit going on, but it's a, it ends up being like a, it ends up being like a fun movie, but it's, uh, it's well, it's well written better than, better than other movies in that genre. And there's some, some things that happen that are not totally, uh, you know, easily, easily identifiable is about to happen. You know, it wasn't totally predictable at all. But I, I'd, I'd recommend it if you like Vince Vaughn, or especially if you used to like him. He doesn't pop up too, too much, I feel like. Right? Vince? Yeah. Um, no. Yeah. Hold on That's just a second. Interesting about him. Just a second. Okay. All right, I'm sorry. Go on. Okay. No, I so, just yeah, Vince Vaughn doesn't problem. necessarily pop up. He doesn't, I mean, you know, I like Vince Vaughn. I like Vince Vaughn when he's being sarcastic, funny. I'm not uh -huh. necessarily a fan of his more serious takes that he did when he was younger. Okay. Um, But I do like Vince Vaughn. Yeah. I, I do like Vince Vaughn. What did he, what did he do when he was younger? I can't, I, I can't remember off the top of my head. I just saw him. I've seen him in movies younger that were more serious. Okay. He wasn't the star. He was just in those movies. Yeah. And I'm like, I, I can pass. I can pass on some Vince Vaughn stuff. Some, mm -hmm. I, I like much of his stuff. So, yeah. you know, old school. I mean, I just like his delivery. I think he's, he delivers his lines very well. Yeah. You know, in most of his mid 2000s stuff. His delivery is really good, yeah. you know, which is, you know, I like that flat sarcasm. Right, right, right. Yeah, he's, you know, he's definitely so. great, great at that. Yeah. So, you know, there's that. Um, um, but yeah, you know, I, I'll, I'll, I'll keep an eye out for that film. I probably won't chase it down, mm -hmm. but I'll definitely keep well, an eye out for it. Also remember, you know, he's not the star of the film either, so. The kid, the kid is the, the star of the the kids, so, but specifically the kids, the star of the film. And you don't know the name of the film? Yeah, yeah. So I said it a bunch of times. North Hollywood. Say it again. Oh, North Hollywood. Yeah. Okay. We'll keep an eye out. Keep an eye out. Definitely not gonna track it down, but if it pops up on a streaming service that I follow, I will press play mm -hmm. and see if it. If it if it holds my interest, which I mean, you're saying it's good. Yeah, well, like I said, I wasn't, you know, I didn't know what was up, but uh, it it kind of grabbed me from the beginning, so I stuck okay. with it and uh, I kept sticking with it till the end. So I didn't go in with a plan. Did you ever find that Ethan Hawke film I told you about? What was the name of it? Uh, Cedric the Entertainer's in it. Oh, I just had to Google Ethan Hawke and Cedric the Entertainer. Um, in that case, no. It's on Netflix. Yeah, it must not be popping up for me. Either that or I've already... You accuse me of spoiling it. Oh, yeah, yeah, you spoil everything. Either that or <laughs> I've already seen it, but I'll, I'll write a note to myself. Yeah, 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 check it out. I mean, again... It's, 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 well, you know, I'm not going to get into it. I'll just let you form an opinion. Um, yeah, I'll just let you form an opinion on that. Um, what have I been watching lately? Oh, Haikyuu. No, not Haikyuu. Um, 
Kuroko style of basketball. You know I me mean? when it, when they put on a new season of some anime stuff that I enjoy. Everything stops. Like I haven't even finished Shadow and Stone yet because they put on some new anime. I was watching Sat Shadow and Stone on Netflix, and then they, and which is a great TV series by the way, but they interrupted that with Castlevania the last season, so I had to finish that, and then immediately was on to Kuroko style of basketball, which that's like 25 episodes. So I've been kind of stuck, what not stuck, but immersed in that. And then I want to eventually get to the nevers on HBO max. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping for sooner than later, a new season of warrior. Right. Right. Which I'm hoping that comes sooner rather than later. Mm, I feel like that would be a little fast for that to come anytime soon. Well, I mean, it's not like, this, the television series isn't a little bit older. Like when it got put to HBO Max, they were able to upload two seasons because it was already, it had already been out <laughs> and canceled on another network. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's not like, you know, listen, a little fast, like what are we talking, right? Like, did, was that a 2020 season we, series we watched? We watched that this year? I mean, there were a couple of seasons. Yeah, but did we watch that this year in 2021 or was it in 2020 when we were watching it? Uh, both years? No, I mean, I watched both seasons at the same time. I'm asking if when we were having the conversation about it, was it in 2021 or 2020? I think we had a conversation both years. Really? I think. Well, okay. maybe uh, if that is the case, then that means I that means I put you on them. No. no. Neither one of us put the other on. Hmm. It was just a series that I was watching, and then you told me you also were watching it. I just finished it before you. Oh yeah, you got into the yeah you got into the second season for sure before yeah. I did. Yep, I had, I had finished it before you is all, because I went right right from season one to season two. And I'm looking forward to season three. Yeah, yeah. Well, when I started, there was no season two yet. Yeah. Yep. So that's that's the next, not the next big thing. There's a lot of things that I'm waiting for. I want the next season of His Dark Materials. I want, you know what I mean? Like, the there's big, a lot of the things. The big that thing I'm, that's coming, but it's not coming until more like the fall, is uh, Doom. Well, you know, I'm a Doom person, so yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting for the Doom television series. I'm waiting for the movie. When's the television series? Um, they're doing a companion series on HBO Max, a companion series to the movie about the Benny Gesserit order, which okay. I'm, I'm excited for. Obviously, I'm excited for the Dune film. Yeah. Obviously, I'm, you know, of course, I'm excited for Dune. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm a Dune. I'm a Dune head. Yeah. I think it's the greatest sci-fi anything ever made. So uh, I'm let a me Dune just guy. Pause for one sec. I'm going to grab a snack. But I'm going to remember to record when I get back. Oh, okay. You only have to click once when you pause instead of stop. So, what were we talking about? Um, Various things. Mm -hmm. Or the last thing? Say again? The last thing we were talking about? Um... I don't know. We're not recording right now, are we? Uh, we are. Oh, we are. <laughs> yeah, I just I just said I'm going to double click so this time we're recording. And then I said, turns out you only have to click once when you have it on pause. Instead of stop. Hmm. Well, we, we I mean, we kind of had a lot going on. And then that pause was pretty was a pretty long pause, which kind of put my head in other uh 
in other 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 directions, so mm -hmm. to speak. Um, we can we can end the last discussion and start a new one. Okay. Cool. Keep it keep it segmented into little little snippets. Yeah, that'll work. I'm gonna have to put you on pause for just a second.